Hi everybody, Dan Ullman, Mike Beer, the DRF.com formulator race of the day for Sunday, May the 7th, race number eight at Lone Star Park. It's the grade three Steve Sexton Mile, and let's take a peek at this field. Remember to head on over to the Race of the Day page on DRF.com, download those free Formulator Pass performances, and handicap along with us as we take the Grade 3 Steve Sexton Mile in post position order. And there's some quality down towards the inside. The number one, a Keeneland graduate, is Iron Fist going out for Steve Asmussen. You know, Sencio Diego has the mount. I thought this horse ran really well last time out in the Grade 2 New Orleans handicap, and I like him cutting back to a mile. It was a pretty good effort. I mean, that pace got pretty heated up early in that race. He went right after eventual runner-up and they're breaking lucky. They dueled it all the way around the track. This horse, you know, sort of gave in at the end, but he did a lot of hard work in that race. And I agree with you. I think the mile is better for him. I mean, that mile and an eighth was always pushing it for him. This is a great distance for this horse. He's got a great post. He's four for five lifetime at this mile distance. And the horse that beat him most recently, Honorable Duty, just came back and ran second in the Ali Sheba Stakes, a graded event to Churchill Downs on Kentucky Oaks Friday. The number two is going to be the favorite in this race, and that is more spirit. Six to five on the morning line, Mike Smith, Bob Baffert. Baffert has not run a horse at Lone Star in a long time, but his record over the years over this track, sensational. Yeah, he wins, he, what he did ship in here, he used to win a lot, and he used to send some of his better horses over here to run as well. More spirit, um, you know, we'll see where he, where it obviously plays out for him as time goes on, but this might be one of Baffert's better horses. I mean, he's got a lot of ability, this horse, and I like the way he's come back. Um, after the layoff, they laid him up after the Derby. He's three starts since then, just sort of progressively getting better and better. He was good winning last time. He's a handful in here at a short I, I agree with you. Grade one winner, act two, abbreviated campaign at three, where at times we thought he was a little bit lazy, yeah. but his last couple of races, he has turned it on, including his most recent start in the Essex Handicap, which resulted in a career-best 105 buyer, and I like the way he finished that race Me off. Too. Let's take a look at the time, the number three, Carve, first, by the way, going out for Steve Asmussen as well as Iron Fist. We've got a very positive recent formulator fact for Asmussen and Carve. Past 90 days, three and up dirt routers off a little layoff in graded stakes, 30%, a $6.02 return on investments. Carve is a millionaire. He's seven years old. He's a hard hitter. I'm just not sure he's really at the top hmm. of his game right now. He hasn't won a race in a while. Right. He, yeah, he's always been a good horse, and he's always fit well in races like this, although this feels like a, a sex amount that came up a little tough for a horse like him, but he's rock solid. He runs his race every time. I just feel like he might be a little tough here. Now let's take a look at that time form U.S. pace projector, and the projector indicates that this race might be run at a rapid pace mm -hmm. with the number six likely to vie for the early lead, uh, six, nine, and one. The six is Shotgun Cowboy. I've always been a fan of Shotgun Cowboy, eight for 18 lifetime. His most recent start in the Essex Handicap, though, he got handled rather easily by more spirit. Yeah, he's got a lot to find in the face of more spirit in this race. Um, so we'll see if he can do it. The pace scenario, if it plays out that way, is not going to help him. Uh, I'll say this about the as far as that pace projector goes, and I do think there's plenty of pace in this race. I don't think they're going to ride Iron Fist the way they rode him last time. I don't expect to see him up there dueling for the lead through fast fraction. So if Shotgun Galway catches a break and goes out there running, maybe he's the speed on the rail in this race. But boy, once we get to that horse on the outside, that American Dubai, I expect that horse to be breathing down his neck in here. Great minds might benefit from a fast pace up front. He won this race last year when it was known as the Texas Mile. He finished third most recently at Delta Downs. The fourth place finisher did come back to win, but only an optional claimer at Evangeline with an 82 buyer speed figure. Where is great minds from a form standpoint? I wonder if he's tailing off a little bit. Yeah, I wonder if he is too. And the other thing about him, even if he's not, even if he does sort of rebound here and step back up to one of his better races, you know, he's really a little too slow for this field. And he's got that 194 buyer, and it's a, it's good for him that it was over this track in this race. But other than that, he's a little slow in here. One of the longer sh uh, prices in this race is the number five, FJ Uncle Vic, third start of the form cycle, eligible to show a little bit of stretch out speed. Yeah. But he's 0 for 13 lifetime over the Lone Star surface. He finished last in this race in 2016, yeah. eighth of 10 in 2015, up against it from a class standpoint. He just looks like he's in too tough here. Interesting spot for the number seven U.S. officer at 30 to one on the morning line. This is a three-year-old taking on older horses. He got the win last time out at Evangeline, but it was only a four-horse race. Yeah. A gigantic hike up in class, and I actually like him at shorter distances. Yeah, I do too. It's I mean, let's, they obviously think a little highly of him. They've tried him in some really tough races along the way. This is another one of those. Key to this race might very well be the number eight Texas Chrome. It was a perfect three for three yeah. over the Lone Star surface, and he's a tough, hardy he horse. 
they cars. really got good towards the end of 2016 with wins in the Grade 3 Super Derby, the Grade 3 Oklahoma Derby. Then he didn't fire in the Breeders' Cup Dirt Mile. He was a little bit overmatched. I needed to see something yeah. last time. He gave me nothing. I agree with that. I want, and I know it was off the layoff. You don't have to be too hard on him, but I wanted him to pick his feet up in that race, and he didn't. We'll see if he can sort of take a big step forward um, second off the leg, because you know he's got it in him. He was a pretty talented three year I like the way that he was sort of improving towards the end of last year. The other thing that I like about him, too, Dan, is I know he, he, he got some good races in at nine furlongs. I like the shorter race for him, too. Trainer Rodney Richards has done a really nice job with the nine American Dubai, a colt that's reeled off four consecutive yeah. wins, and he stretched his speed out to a mile and an eighth successfully last time out in the Sunland Park handicap. His buyer's steadily improving. I don't like that he doesn't change leads really in the stretch, yeah. but that's just him. He just seems effective yes, there. The question is, can he get away with a lonely lead, or are they going to push him harder? Early? I don't know if he can clear the front in here, but he is a fast horse, and if they are intent on it, maybe he can get it. I like this horse as a three-year-old. They probably made a little bit of a mistake trying to make him a derby horse. That wasn't going to work out for him, but he's come back this year and he's shown that he's pretty good. I don't really want to bet against Moore Spear in this race. That's a If he wasn't in here, I'd be happy to take my chances with this horse, but against Moore Spear, I don't think I can bet this horse. Let's take a look at our top picks for the Grade 3 Steve Sexton Mile, your Sunday Formulator Race of the Day. We're both going with Baffert, the number two Moore Spirit, two, nine, one, and six for me in the Grade 3 Steve Sexton Mile. If you are playing the Lone Star Sunday card from home, DRF Bets invites you to be a VIP for a week. New subscribers can head over to drfbets.com slash VIP. You start off with a $300 bonus and lots of other handicapping goodies. Approximate post time for the Grade 3 Steve Sexton Mile. Race number 8 at Lone Star Park on Sunday is 617 Central. Good luck.